try to get right up against my thumb and we'll hope for the best. Well, <laughs> that's usually how I do it. On today's G3 Sportsman, we're going to be visiting a company that quite possibly could have been the inspiration to all of us that hunt. And also, throughout the show, we're going to be spotting and stalking one of America's most sought after entrees. Mm -hmm. We'll be bringing back some old memories for some of you. There he is, Red Rider himself. The holy grail of Christmas gifts, the Red Rider 200 shot range model air rifle. And hopefully, inspiring some new hunting enthusiasts. Let's get it started. I lost it. <laughs> Give me my fish. He fell off. Well, that thing pulled twice as hard as a silver. Look at this cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, you catch that. Nice fish. Thank you, fish. That's what I'm talking about. Get you some of that. The G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. You know, I bet everybody out there can remember when they got their first BB gun. All the stories, you know, some that you, uh, you don't mind telling and, and some that you'd probably rather not tell. But uh, we all had such a big time when it uh, came to our BB gun. And really, for most of us that, uh, that hunt, that's, that's where it all started, right there with uh, out in the backyard and, and learning how to shoot that thing. And, and I'm, I'm sure getting in trouble shooting the uh, songbirds when we wasn't supposed to. But, uh, but nonetheless, you know, I've, I've actually got my first BB gun right here, and, and I'm assuming this is mine. It's either mine or my brother's. It's the same era. I think we both got them at the same time, but I tell you, it's just, just some things you just hang on to and uh, you don't get rid of, but uh, the majority of you guys out there, I guarantee you, your first BB gun like this would probably be made by the company that we're gonna be visiting today. And that's the Daisy BB plant in Rogers, Arkansas. Steve Mack got us hooked up with Joe Murphy with uh, Daisy and uh, asked if we could come in and, and uh, shoot, a little, shoot a little footage there of the, of the Daisy Museum, which is in Rogers, Arkansas too, just you know, about a mile from the actual Daisy plant. And this is where all the history of the Daisy BB guns are, and and uh, it, it's it's a really it's a really cool tribute to such a such an American treasure. The mission of the Daisy Museum in downtown Rogers, Arkansas, is to preserve this tremendous heritage and uh, history of the Daisy Company, the Daisy BB Gun Company. But the museum really starts with a presentation of something much older. The Plymouth Iron Windmill Company was in Plymouth, Michigan, in 1882. Uh, one of the gentlemen on the board of the windmill company who recognized that they were struggling. They made a windmill out of steel and it was very difficult to ship it. And uh, he recognized the company was struggling and he himself designed and made a little air gun, an all steel air gun, which today we call a wire stock gun. And he brought it in to the general manager's office and he said, uh, try this little air gun. And the general manager took the gun, fired it in his wastebasket, and then he went outdoors and he fired it through a wooden shingle and the BB went right through the shingle and it was a lead BB back then. And he looked at Clarence Hamilton, the inventor of this gun, and he says, Clarence, that's a daisy. And, and that was kind of the saying back there. Today kids would say, boy, that's cool or that's radical or awesome, but the saying back then was, it's a daisy. While Daisy is an old company, over 120 years old, they certainly didn't invent air guns. And some say that mechanical air guns date back to the late 1570s, uh, 1600s. And we have in the museum some examples of those antique air guns. Now many of these would be 30 and 40 caliber air guns, which were pumped up either using an external pump or some had a, a bellows system with a crank built into the stock of the gun. But these would have been very powerful air guns used for hunting and even in military applications.
You know, I don't know whether a lot of people really go frogging as, as much as they used to. I, I know that was big stuff for us, and, and I mean, it still is. And and really, there's there's no better table fare than frog legs. I mean, come on, you go to a restaurant, you're gonna be paying some high dollar for some frog legs now. But uh, really, they're worth every penny. But when you could go out and get them yourself and clean them, fry them up, man, there ain't no better groceries than that right there. And uh, this little episode right here, uh, we hooked up down in Bolivar, Missouri with our own team member, uh, Rick Lowry. And I uh, got in with buddies Jake Jacobson from there Bolivar and his son, Bo. And uh, hey, this was, this was our nighttime Ozark safari right here. I mean, that's a good one. Now, if he, if he measures now, I, I don't know, I get kind of some credit on that. I hear you. Good job, Bo. Now, we got him on trail camera this year. You got him on got the trail him. camera? Yeah. Who's got the sack? I do. You're the sack man? Yeah. <laughs> we got him on trail camera. I don't know why. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's a dang gum good frog right there. Boy, he fooled us, didn't he? Yeah. That's wrong with that frog. Take any time you want me to carry that sack off. Yeah. Fair enough, boy. He's so a shooter. Hedoma. 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 <laughs> really frogging is just nothing more than uh, you know going out to really farm ponds or, or little old small rivers and creeks and ditches and stuff where they're where they're at and usually hook up with several several people and got the lights going and the gigs and and all good job good job Oh yeah, it's all gone right now. That's a good one. That a boy, Bo. <laughs> hey, how about that spot, honey? Bo Frog. That was a good spot. That's the thing about this time of year, boy. We've had all this rain, everything growing up. I guess you missed that one under you right there too. I hear him. You know, they all had the gigs and everything, but uh, I was going to try the little red rider out. I was right between the top of the eyes. Good shot. There it is. Go ahead and get him for me. <laughs> what I tell That's you? That's a nice shot. Dead gum right now. <laughs> Just like I used to do as a kid. Look at there, boys. Now that is a true bone and croaker. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. And y'all said that it couldn't happen with the with the red rider. No, we wanted you to prove it. Well, I did. You proved her. Save the legs. You dog go right. Red rider strikes, boys. Right there. For a lot of the people that come to the Daisy Museum, they're simply looking for the gun that they first had, the gun that they started with. I mean, we, we say it a lot that it all starts with a Daisy BB gun. For many, many people, that's a Red Rider. What would you like for Christmas? Horrified, I heard myself blurt it out. I want an official Red Rider Carbon Action 2 inch Joe Wayne's Ball Arrow. You know, I never had a a, uh, a Red Rider like this. That's, that's really the most popular. My uh, my BB gun was, I think this was just a an old model 96. It was a little little beefier, a little, little heavier gun back then. And I, I guess everything was was built a little a little stronger or whatever back in the day. But uh, I guarantee you, this this bad boy right here has fired many a shot. There's no doubt about it. The old the old front sights off of it now, and and uh, shoot, I've lost stuff on the back. And, but uh, it's it's even it's even still got some of the original BBs, <laughs> and, and it will still shoot. And in the museum, one of the things we have is a kind of a chronological order of all the changes that have taken place in the Red Rider from 1940 
when in March 1940 the first gun uh, rolled off the line until today and all of the different models and uh, changes that took place throughout its history. But basically, if you look at it today, it's the same gun it used to be. It's a Western carbon action, lever action gun with a solid wood stock and solid wood forearm. Still has the forearm band on it and still has the leather thong and the lariat ring. So now we're gonna go and over to another one of Jake's ponds right now, right? We're gonna get really serious here in this little bit. Fix to get serious. Serious. The limit's eight apiece. You we got, got a bounty on them got for biggest BBs. frog. Got I got I got plenty of BBs. Right. We got plenty of gigs. Got a big enough sack. I'd say we'll do. Now well. we're fixing to get busy frogging. <laughs> on three. One, two, three. Got him. Right There's there. mine. Right there. Yeah, go ahead and pump another one in him. Can you get him with? Where's the Where's the grabber? Here, hang on. I left him. Sure. My gosh, Rick, you dug that and right in the ground. Look at there. Double. That's what I'm talking about. Double trouble. <laughs> oh. Heck yeah, look at that now. The Daisy Red oh, Rider, I mean, save the legs. Look at there. Easy to get up, pick up, and you just drop them <laughs> in the side. I think there was another one up there. What do you think about that? See? Oh, right here. Go buy me a Red Rider. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Scope mine. <laughs> you go put a scope yeah. on it. Little, should be another one out here. You know, anytime you go to a museum, you get to see all the old stuff and all that. But you know, going to the Daisy BB Museum, you get to see the same guns that your granddaddy shot and you, and your dad, and then all the different styles of guns that they had even back in your era that you didn't even know nothing about. But Joe kind of. He, he kind of surprised us when he said, hey, let's run over to the plant now and go through there, which I thought was going to be neat enough. But the big surprise was we was going to get to assemble our own Red Rider BB gun. Now, 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 now we're talking. All right, now we're here at the Daisy BB gun plant here in Rogers, Arkansas, and I'm here with Amy James, and we're going to build a BB gun. All right. Or am I going to build a BB You're gun? You're going to build a BB gun. I'm going to build a BB gun. <laughs> Which this ought to be pretty good. I'm all pumped. Right, put the front side in. Turn it over. And the Red Rider goes down. Oh. And you're just going to set it in there and line up the hole. All right, I'm going to have to go back on that. And we'll hope for the best. Well. <laughs> <laughs> And shoot! All right. All the way around. There you go. All right. This is probably the easiest thing I can do right here. This is how, what I know what to do. This is, how about that? And then I'll put it on the line, right? Yep. Thank you, Amy. You're welcome. Am I hired? I don't know. I'm going to have to have a little more. Yeah, a little more training. You know, I had to try my BB gun out. I mean, that's, that's, that's all there was to it. You know, I, I wanted to go hunting with it. I wanted to see what it could do. <laughs> now, how cool is it to get to go out, go frogging with a BB gun, but then it's actually the BB gun that you got to assemble at the plant. Now, that's cool stuff right there. Daisy, boys. Oh, yeah. We have, and they're them good size. That daisy doesn't mess them up either. It's a good clean, good clean kill. Success. That's a good one there. That's a good one. That is a good one. Look what I just did. Pull my boot. My foot comes out of my boot. 
Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that dude is in there. You're gonna check him out first. And then what are you gonna do? Put him back down in Giggy? Yeah, I'm gonna put him back down in Giggy. You gotta get the football stance, see? I was wondering what that stance is all about. Well, there. it's a 40 year old fat boy stance. Uh -huh. Uh, well, I would say he's next year's pro. Yeah. He, he got, jumped right back on you. There he went. He got me back. He peed on you? Feed on me. Is that what most of these are? Are donations from people? The, the guns that you have are these you know, that you just keep a model from each year or whatever and you keep them and then you put them in this museum or is it donated? Well, it's a mix of both. I mean, Daisy had an outstanding collection of air guns and they did put back over the years. I mean, I, I envy what they've done. I don't know that we would do as good a job of that today, mm -hmm. but setting back some of the production models. And in the meantime, you're right, people come in here all the time and say, I've got an old gun or my dad left me an old gun and I want to donate it to the nonprofit museum. So. Well, Joe, you know, where we're at right here is, is pretty near and dear to me because I, I see the, the little Targeteer pistol, I guess dated right. back like in the, in the 30s. Yeah, and what I brought is my grandfather's You're little me. Targeteer. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we, we appreciate that. That's so good. Hey, that, I'm that's how this museum it. exists is people coming in exactly. and bringing their old guns and telling stories and looking for their old gun. And yeah. then... You know, the Daisy BB guns I, I are just as much American as baseball, apple pie, and Chevrolet, as far as I'm concerned. They, uh, they, they have been around for so long. They've, they've been a great company. They're just a, they're an institution here in this country. And, and if you guys are in the Northwest Arkansas area, right around Rogers, you, you really should go by the Daisy BB Gun Museum. It is just a wonderful place. And you talk about will just open up your eyes to your childhood. It'll, it'll, man, it'll trigger some old memories and all, and you'll just have a blast in there. Okay. Well, gonna Good job. Hey, boy, Bo. That frog right there, boy. <laughs> Look at the legs. There you go, Bo. Look at that. Okay. Man, now that is a frog right there. This may not be for everybody, but the people that want to come out here and frog, I know you're thinking this is an awful lot of work, but once you taste these bad boys, it's, it's all worth it. Right now, we're not thinking it is, but later on, it will be. Good job, Bo. Nice. <laughs> Frogging. Right there. In addition to limited edition collectible guns and other collectible items in the Daisy Museum, this is probably the one place where you can find one of everything that Daisy makes in its current product line. And, and for Daisy, it all starts with a gun like the Daisy Buck. This is a lever action BB gun with a small profile that's um, appropriate for younger shooters. And from there, most shooters will move into the Red Rider which is again a lever action BB gun. Looks a lot like the one we looked at, the old ones from 1940. It's still got the forearm band, the leather thong, the wood stock with the Red Rider logo stamped into the wood. Older shooters might appreciate something like a dual ammo Grizzly, single pump pneumatic, maximum of 300 feet per second velocity, and the Grizzly comes in either black or mossy oak camo pattern, and this gun will shoot either BBs or pellets. For, for pest control or small game hunting, you can't beat a brake barrel, and Daisy makes brake barrels both under the Powerline brand and the Winchester Air Rifle brand. With a brake barrel rifle, with just one cock of the barrel, you can achieve up to 1,000 feet per second velocity, and with a pointed pellet, that's perfect for small game hunting. We've all had BB guns. We've all had right. Daisy BB guns. Yeah. Me and you're That's in the same started. generation. That's right. And uh, you know, this is just a neat place to come back and 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 relive our youth and, and see some of the stuff that not only did we have our parents, our grandparents, and then probably their parents yeah. in the, in the lines of BB guns. And it's really just a neat neat place. And I'm glad you were very very nice to uh, 
come in here and, and take time out of your busy day just to show us all about the Daisy, uh, the Daisy past, present, and future. Really well, nice. thanks for being here too. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's show. We we had a, a big time doing it. The frogging was fun. Thanks to all the guys there and uh, and to Joe and uh, all the all the folks over there at the Daisy plant. You know, we had a big time. And uh, but we're out of here. But just remember, we'll be doing something somewhere next week right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. Let me shoot my red rider again.